What's up guys, George Payne here. Today I wanted to make a video on hydroponics. A lot of you know that I grow some hydroponic plants, as you can see here. Hydroponics has been a tedious process for me to learn. It took a lot of time and a lot of research, but it's a very rewarding process once you really get into it and figure some things out. But uh, yeah, I just want to explain some things to you today. Hydroponics replaces the soil. So when you do hydroponics, you need to have all the elements that the soil has to have a successful grow. So you see these right here, these little clay pellets, they're called hydroton, hydrocorn. What they are is they are expanded, play, expanded clay pellets that are kiln dried without harmful chemicals. And they support the plant and they also um, capture some of the moisture and some of the nutrients around the roots so that the plant can grow to be big. As you can see this black piece right here is called a net cup. It's got a little cup inside that's meshed out that the roots grow through. The roots grow down into this oxygenated nutrient supplement that's changed out weekly. As you can see the hydroton is, is in there and the roots are supported and grow in it. It supports the plant so that it doesn't lean in and fall. You have an air stone in here. Let's see if I can pull it up. You can see an air stone. That provides the oxygen in the water so that the roots don't drown. You need plenty of oxygen in your supplements so that the roots grow and thrive and the plant doesn't become, the roots don't become dry rotted and, and the plant dies. These are some of the supplements I use. Let me show you actually the air pump. The line to the air um, stone goes to my commercial air pump. It does 570 gallons an hour. And as you can see, it's got these tubes. It's a six port, but I only use three. I'll show you some of the supplements that were in the, the water. This is General Hydroponics Flora Duo. This is part A, it's a 506. And it has nitrogen, Potash, calcium, magnesium, boron, copper, iron, manganese, and zinc. And there's the percentages. This is the grow formula. You use both, as you can see. And then I'll show you B. This is B154. This is Flora Duo as well. It's a two part nutrient. And there's some of your ingredients. Nitrogen, potash, magnesium, sulfur, boron, copper, iron, zinc, and same thing it gives you the chart. B can be used as a balloon booster in garden plants or in hydroponic nutrients. And what you want is you want your nutrient solution to be at a range of 600 to 1200 parts per million. So I use a parts per million meter. I don't have it right here, but that's what I use, and it works really well. Sorry about it coming back in. The, the camera's doing that on automatic and I can't cut that off. Here's another supplement that I use. It's called CalMag General Hydroponics. It helps with the nutrient uptake of plants. It helps to prevent blossom and rot and root rot and leaf tip burn. It's just calcium and magnesium. It's a one zero zero. So that stuff is really good. Here's my favorite one of my favorites, I won't say my favorite, the other one's my favorite. This is General Hydroponics Floralicious Plus. This is a ingredient or supplement that is blended of plant, marine, and mineral extracts. This helps to produce bigger uh, fruit, so pods, tomatoes, and also fruit that tastes better. So you're going to have peppers and pods that are bigger and that taste better. Really good supplement. This one is my favorite supplement they make. It's a small bottle. I think this runs about $25. This is Rapid Start. It's a rooting enhancement. Um, these are Rapid Start. It, it promotes root growth while enhancing plant vigor and yield. Really good stuff. Makes, the, makes for some big roots. And uh, like I said, really awesome product. Another important thing for hydroponic growing in a tent as you can see I have a tent, is ventilation. You want to make sure you have your vents open, see as I do there, to blow the 
warm air out and to recirculate and I have a fan because I haven't installed my ventilation yet that blows air in here. Right here I have a CFL light. This is a 2700K bulb, 150 watts. It provides heat and ample light for flowering stage. I also have a 6400K bulb but right now my plants are in the budding and flowering phase. And as you can see, I have two LED grow panels by Sunshine Systems, and they can take your plants from vegetative growth to flowering to ripening. So lighting and atmosphere are a huge part. You don't want your reservoirs to get too hot, but that normally never happens. And like I said, make sure you have the proper lighting, proper environment, and proper nutrients. Make sure you follow the steps. As you can see, you have different phases. You have the strong grow blend, mild grow, normal general purpose, transition, mild bloom, and strong bloom. So follow that. Lighting, I'm using, um, I had talked to Todd, I was using 12 hours on, 12 hours off. Now I'm using 16 on and uh, ate off so we had talked about that me and Todd did and so I increased it long summer days but uh, yeah hydroponics grows your plants a lot faster a lot bigger and it's supposed to increase your yields so hopefully here soon I'll have a lot of peppers it's a it's very expensive to get started up on but once you have the systems and once you have all the equipment it's actually uh, not too expensive you can get you know this will last me a couple months right here for three systems I'm gonna en en enhance soon and get more systems and a bigger tent I'm going for a five foot by five foot tent this is only a three by three so uh, this will last me I think like three months to four months per court and uh, thirty dollars for for the courts so they're fifteen a piece from where I order them so I get both of these for thirty bucks and uh, yeah I just want to explain hydroponics and show you what it's all about. So I'll see you guys very soon. You see the plants are very healthy. Take it easy.